Okay, you guys, <laughs> I just started filming this video and then like five minutes into it, my camera died, which honestly was probably a blessing in disguise because I was being so nervous. And I think the reason I was nervous is because I'm about to tell you guys a lot of things that I haven't shared on my channel previously. A little bit of tea, if you will. So yeah, anyway, because of that, I was just super nervous. And I think my camera battery was trying to send me a message saying like hey girl chill out it's not that serious it's gonna be okay and while I was charging the camera battery I got into the Spanish wine that my roommate brought back for us so now I feel like the vibe is giving casual chat instead of giving big serious announcement vibes so anyways I'll just cut right to the chase in my past few videos I have mentioned that there's a big announcement coming up and that announcement is that I am transferring bases again and I know you're like but Briner you're obsessed with New York you always talk about how much you love being based in New York yeah I know I know you guys I still love New York and I likely will be back in New York Work, but I just don't know when. Also, sorry for my whole apartment being the background of today's video. It is the only place in this apartment that gets any sort of natural light. Y'all get a nice sneak peek of my completely empty, not decorated apartment. Me saying that as if we just moved in when we actually moved in like four months ago. We just haven't decorated it because we're never here. I made a notes list on my phone of things that I need to talk about during this video so that I don't get completely sidetracked and just start talking about something not relevant. All right, so let's just start at the beginning so that this decision decision of transferring bases will make more sense to y'all. And I know that if you've been watching my channel, a lot of you already kind of know this story, but I am about to add in a couple of juicy details that I have not previously shared on this channel. So I graduated flight attendant training in December of 2022. And while I was in training, I was awarded the base of New York City, but I was already in the process of moving to Charlotte, North Carolina. My boyfriend and I had gone on a six week long backpacking trip to Southeast Asia right before I started this job. So we were in between leases and didn't have anywhere to live in Denver. So it was almost like perfect timing for us just because we weren't locked into a lease. We came back from that trip. I went to flight attendant training. Meanwhile, my boyfriend started moving us in to our apartment in Charlotte. Well, my airline does have a base in Charlotte, North Carolina, but it just wasn't available to new hires at the time that I was graduating training. But I was able to put my name on the transfer list while I was still in flight attendant training. So I was awarded that transfer pretty quickly. I was awarded the transfer with a start date of April 1st of 2023. So I was based in New York City for three months from December 2022 when I graduated to March of 2023 and then I started in Charlotte in April and while I was in New York originally that's when I like completely fell in love with the base I mean y'all have heard me say like I love the trips there I love the cruise there it's a smaller base which is nice I feel like I always see people around that I know and this is not me hating on any other base this is just me saying that I love New York but anyways so I was really sad to leave when I left that base in April of 2023 but it just made more sense for me to be in Charlotte so that I didn't have to commute on straight reserve because my airline does do straight reserve for the entire first year that you're a flight attendant and also at my airline you are on probation for the first six months after you graduate flight attendant training I was on probation at the time I just didn't want to get in trouble for like having a missed commute or being a reserve at a base or anything that would get me in trouble in the first six months of the job and commuting is just really hard like in general if you are brand new to the job and you're commuting it takes a little while to get used to it. I finally am used to it and I've been doing this job for a year and a half. Personally, I think commuting is like a whole nother job. It takes a lot of planning and takes up a lot of your time. So I do recommend not commuting if you have the option not to. All right, so let's fast forward to July. I was having a pretty rough time being based in Charlotte. I have touched on this in other videos, but to sum it up, I just think that I was so used to how New York is and New York and Charlotte are very different bases. And since I really like to New York I was not vibing in Charlotte so in July the day before the transfer portal closed I put in my transfer to be back in New York I also just knew that my seniority was gonna be way better in New York compared to Charlotte because New York is a way smaller base they had been sending a lot of new hires to New York I was ready to be off of reserve I did not want to be on reserve anymore I wasn't able to hold 
any of the days off that I wanted in Charlotte, which is fine because I know I was brand new, but I just wanted to be at a base where I would be able to hold the days off that I wanted if I was on reserve or possibly have a line if I was senior enough because seniority is everything in this job, no matter what airline you work for. And I did talk to my boyfriend who I was living with at the time in Charlotte about transferring back to New York and he was super supportive. He was like, I really want you to be happy. I know you're really passionate about this career. So if you feel like you need to transfer back to New York to be happier, I 100% support it. Yo, my camera battery keeps dying, but I just keep replacing it with my backup battery and charging that one while I use the other one because I'm a poor planner and I didn't plan to film this video today and now here we are. Okay, what was I talking about? Um, oh, so I was awarded the transfer with an October 1st start date. And if you haven't watched my telling the truth video, I'll link it down below, but go watch it because that video is about to make way more sense after what I'm about to tell you. Let me have a sip of wine because now we're dropping the team. I never explicitly said it in the video, but my boyfriend and I actually decided to break up in September of 2023. And I'm not going to get that deep into why we decided to break up, but the main reason really was just that our life paths were not going in the same direction direction anymore. He really wanted to move back to Colorado, which is where all of his friends and family are. And I was ready to move out of Charlotte. Like I didn't really see it as being my home, especially since I decided to transfer back to New York. I knew that I wanted to stay on the East Coast. I did not want to move back to Colorado. I feel like my chapter of life there kind of already came to a close. Like I went to college there for four years at CU Boulder and then lived there for about a year and a half after I graduated college. So after we broke up, we were kind of figuring things out for a little while after that, like whether we were gonna try to do long distance or not. So that's why I did not mention the breakup in that video, but I was obviously like super emotional in the video because at the time I was going through a breakup. We did ultimately decide to not do long distance. We're super amicable and he's still one of my really good friends. But anyways, I didn't have anywhere to live after we moved out of that apartment. So I just moved back with my parents in Raleigh, North Carolina, which is where I'm from originally. And then I was commuting to New York from Raleigh, North Carolina, which was fine because my seniority was really good. Once I went back to New York, I was able to hold any days off that I wanted. I had Thanksgiving off, Christmas off, New Year's off. It was way more flexible than my schedule when I was in Charlotte. And I actually even held a line before I was a year in. So around the same time that I was moving out of my apartment in Charlotte, one of my best friends from training was talking about moving to Philadelphia, but he wasn't planning on moving until February of 2024 because he was living in Dallas and his lease did not end in Dallas until January of 2024. So he was kind of looking for a roommate and I did not really want to stay in Raleigh. I was ready to live somewhere new, experience something different. So I told him that I would move to Philly with him in February and that is what I did. So I currently live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I live in a really cute neighborhood called Fishtown, which is just 15 minutes outside of Center City, a 20 minute drive from the airport and I actually really really like it here. I do have footage of our empty apartment when Parker and I came to see it for the first time so I am going to show you guys that really quick. Parker's like it's fine I've seen everything I need to see <laughs> but I'm like will my couch fit in here? I think so. It's kind of big. I have the measurements so like You guys, I wore this sweatshirt today because I knew I'd be unwell and I'm unwell. Parker, how are you feeling? I'm doing fine, but I didn't carry the couch five flights of stairs. Yeah. <laughs> Did you use it for that? Oh, God. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Are you breaking or you want to come straight? I'm going to break this one and I'm breaking it. I mean, we're going to have to get some cleaner for this bottom side. It is a brand new two bed, two bathroom apartment in a very walkable area. There's like a ton of restaurants and bars in our neighborhood. Fishtown is a super cute area. We're also walkable to Northern Liberties, which is another area that a lot of young professionals live in. So yeah, it's been really great. I really like it here a lot. And as 
of now, I'll be living here until March of 2025. All right, on to the transfer. Right now it is June of 2024 and I am still based in New York because my plan was to stay based in New York until May or June because I was worried that they were gonna get me on reserve again. I just did not wanna be on reserve and commuting. Even though Philadelphia is close and I'm easily able to just take the train or a quick flight up to New York, being on reserve and commuting is just not fun. So I put my transfer in and I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden Philly got so senior. Like I could not get in, you guys. I could not get in. I got rejected from transferring to Philly, I think twice. Yeah, in May and June, I didn't get in. And finally, I was awarded my transfer for July. But I've been chilling in New York. Like, I have not been on reserve in New York since January. So I had a line February, March, April, May, June. For those of you who are not familiar with reserve versus line, being on a line just means that I am awarded which trips I'm gonna be working for the month the month prior and I can move those trips around. I can trade them, drop them, pick stuff up. It's very flexible and you always know what you're working ahead of time versus being on reserve. You only know which days you have off during the month and then any day that you're on and working, they can send you on any trip ranging from one to four days and it can be really unpredictable. Like sometimes they'll call you at two in the morning. Sometimes they'll call you at nine o'clock at night. It really just depends. So obviously commuting and being on a line is way more flexible but i will be a philly based flight attendant officially starting july 5th technically because i have to finish up a trip in new york then i have the third and the fourth off i am going to be so junior in philly <laughs> like i'm back on reserve next month in july i'm only at 74 percent which just means that i'm basically at the very bottom of the barrel when it comes to selecting my days off as well as kind of what trips I'll be working on reserve or what on-call periods I'll be sitting. I will definitely have to sit airport standby again, which I haven't done in months. <laughs> So July should be an interesting month. Definitely stay tuned for that one. Philadelphia does have a lot of international flying. So I'm really hoping that I'll be able to see some of that and I won't have to commute. So really can't complain too much. All right, well, I think that's kind of all for this video. June has been a crazy month. I've had a ton of delays, reassignments, basically every single trip that I've worked so far, something crazy has happened. So we'll see how my last couple of trips go. I am really, really gonna miss it there. I know I'll be back in the future. Also a quick side note is that I do love when y'all come up to me and tell me that you watch my videos. It really does mean the world to me. In my head, I feel like nobody watches my channel. Obviously you guys do watch my videos, but it's just a hard thing to believe. I don't know. I am a really small YouTuber, so it really does mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much if you have come up and told me that you watch my videos. And if you're watching this and you are not subscribed, please subscribe. I cannot wait for this next chapter and to share my Philadelphia adventures with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!